back to Brightside on 10 Tampa Bay. We are your hurricane headquarters. I'm meteorologist Amanda Pappas. So some big news yesterday. NOAA just released their updated forecast for the Atlantic 2023 hurricane season. So take a look. Previously, we did see less and they did upgrade us in terms of all of our categories and what they think is going to happen. So essentially the forecast showing that we should see more activity or they're forecasting more activity in the next couple of months, which is very likely thanks to the fact that we have such warm sea surface temperatures, but we got to factor in El Nino. I know. What does that mean? Well, we see more wind shear that can lower some of the activity. So realistically, we're going to have to see what happens, but plenty of time still left in the season to see this be a possibility. Name storms potentially 12 to 17 all season long hurricanes. We could see five to nine and we could see one to four potentially major hurricanes. So again, Ian came very late into the season, right in the middle, realistically, September 28th. So we have plenty of time left. And that season end date is November 30th. Remember, with these names next on the list, Emily, Franklin, and Gert. So we've got to keep our eyes peeled. But right now in the tropics, we are all quiet.